going. Gonna make uh, some candles today. Uh, just gonna show you my process here. Um, so I decided to go with these three flavors here. I got uh, neroli oil, sandalwood, and uh, some sweet orange. Uh, chose these orange mica color that I'm gonna put in it. Um, I got all this uh, deer tallow that I made myself. And, uh, you know, so I'm gonna make the candle in this glass right here. Uh, and this is a little mixing bowl. I got a piece of cardboard to hold the, the wick. This is the wick. This is uh, basically a piece of cotton um, twine for, you know, tying meat and stuff like that, uh, like a butcher's twine and uh, some tape. Uh, so I'm gonna show you how I do this. First thing I'm gonna do is decide what flavor I want this to smell like, and I've already gone through all that. I put a couple of drips on some paper towels on each one with different concentrations, um, and I came up with uh, two parts to one part to one part. Um, I'm really just guessing at all this, but I'm gonna go ahead and put two droppers, one dropper, one dropper um, of each one of these into this one cup. And so I'm gonna go ahead and put a couple pieces of this in here. Probably be more than enough. Um, and uh, you know what, I'll go with a couple smaller pieces. I cut these up with a soap uh, cutting uh, tool here. After I made a big block of the, the, uh, the tallow and then I cut them up into cubes just so it's easier to work with. So I'm gonna go ahead and melt that. It's probably way more than enough to fill up that cup. Or maybe I'll make two. Um, so I'm gonna melt this first and then I'm gonna put two drops of this, one drop of this, one dropper of this and uh, color it to whatever color I want. So I got a whole bunch of different colors. I ordered these on Amazon. Um, comes with all kinds of different colors, so you can mess around with the color, or you can mix colors if you want. You can make two bowls of this and have two different colors and mix them together if you like. I'm just going to do one color for now. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and microwave that, and I'll come back. All right, so this is the fat. It's melted. Got a little bit of a chunk in there. Uh, it took about two minutes. You want to do it at 30-second intervals, otherwise this stuff can kind of pop and splatter a little bit. Um, Probably, you know, might be a little bit of water trapped in there from the way I uh, reduced it and whatnot. But if you just put it in for 30 seconds after like a minute or so, you just give it a swirl and that, that chunk will start to dissolve. Um, and it's not too hot, so it shouldn't change the smells at all. And just wait until that's fully dissolved. Tape this wick to the bottom of the cup. There we go. So right about in the middle there. And then when I'm ready, I'm gonna pull this straight. a little dip into the fat and then I'm gonna go ahead and put this on here just to hold it straight. Alright so that's almost fully dissolved there. Just another second. It's probably a good time as any to start adding some of your smells here so I'm gonna go ahead and put the neroli in. Two droppers of this and depress one. Two. And the roly has a very floral, a floral and a, kind of a fruity smell to it. It almost smells like the orange. I think the sweet orange brings it out a bit. I'm going to put the sandalwood in here because I do like the earthy kind of balance with the sweet and the citrus and the flowers. So I'm going to put one of these in here. Another one. Another one. One of the 
sweet orange. some color in there. There you go. So I'm just gonna give that a swirl. Just do a piece of fat in there that's undissolved, so I'm going to keep doing that until it's gone, and all the colors are mixed, and the scent is all mixed, and I'm going to pour it in the cup. guess on the amount. So I'm gonna get my get a little wick, a little bit of a dip there. And then we're gonna put this on here. And that's it. Let that come to room temperature. It's gonna get all hard and solid. See it's already starting to turn white on the outside. Can add more color if you like, um, but as it melts, it'll start to turn that nice color when you're using it. it smells really good, so let's uh, let that harden, and uh, I'll show you when it's lit. All right, there it is. I think it's uh, it's been about half an hour now. It's pretty good in there. That's it. Deer fat candle. Smells pretty good. Please click on the link in the description to see how I made the fat. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.